Recent climate data for a period lasting from 1998 to 2014 has been puzzling scientists. It showed, compared to the second half of the last century, and despite the continuing rise in CO2 levels in the atmosphere, there was an apparent decrease in the rate of warming in the first 15 years of the 21st century. Some took to calling it a hiatus. As it contradicted computer models, these temperature observations increased skepticism among climate change skeptics. But a new study says, scratch that. This is what the global warming chart really looks like. It says new analysis of global surface temperatures do not support the notion of a global warming hiatus and declares the old data invalid. What changed? Scientists say the new results are based on land temperature data from about 10,000 stations, more than twice the number used in previous analyses, and on improvements in gathering sea surface temperature data. Until recent decades, most ocean temperature readings came from ships. Now scientists are relying more on buoys, which tend to report a slightly cooler temperature than ships. The new study takes this into account. Is this the final word on global warming? Far from it. For one thing, coverage of the Arctic, which climate data shows is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world, remains poor. Also, some scientists say natural climate fluctuations in the planet's temperature can last for decades, and temperature is only one factor considered in attempts to measure climate change. That's the short answer.